18.75 grams of copper sulfate was dissolved in 325 centimetre cubed of water. What's the concentration of this solution in grams per decimetre cubed? Give our answer to three significant figures. Let's just underline that bit straight away because so many people do the calculation and forget to do that. Okay, so concentration. Uh, how we're going to do this? We've got two units of concentration we regularly use, moles per decimeter cubed and grams per decimeter cubed. Uh, if you're an Edexcel candidate, grams per decimeter cubed is written like that, and that minus there means per. Uh, if you're an AQA uh, candidate, they write grams per decimeter cubed like that. It means the same thing. It really doesn't matter. Both those, they, they mean the same thing. So uh, the uh, unit for concentration here is the formula. So grams... Now, per, that minus there means per, per means in a, or divide, by a decimeter cubed. So there is our formula. Right, now the next fly in the ointment here is uh, generally in the chemical labs, we uh, measure volume in centimeter cubed, but the unit for concentration is always in decimeter cubed. So you need to have learnt there is a thousand centimeter cubed and decimeter cubed. The first thing we have to do is take our 325 and divide it by a thousand to make it... Uh, into decimeter cubes, and that's 0.325 decimeter cubed. So our decimeter cubed is 0.325. Our grams is 18.75, so our grams is going to be 18.75. So that's what we need to divide uh, now to get the answer. 18.75 divided by 0.325 grams per decimeter cubed. Stick it in the calculator, you'll get the answer. 18.75 divided by 0.325 equals, and it's 52.692307. Now remember we underlined three significant figures. There's our first figure, there's our second figure, there's our third figure. Okay, uh, we need to look at the fourth to see if it's five or higher. It is, so we need to round that up now to 57.7 equals 57.7 grams per decimeter cubed. Right, like that if you're at Excel or like this if you're AQA, it doesn't matter. All these questions more on elshamhighchemistry.com.